All right, this is a KM6 LYW quickie. Hey, if you haven't noticed already, uh, there is a global supply chain issue. There is a real chip shortage. The struggle is real here. Hey, this is just going to be maybe some guidance uh, to help you adapt and overcome the, the chip shortage here. If you're building a DigiPi, you're going to need some chips, obviously. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi. Maybe you're going to need an audio board if you don't have a USB-based radio. Maybe you're going to want the cool little monitor. Um, I am finding these things. Um, if, if you look and you're patient, you can get them. You're not going to get the best price. I think uh, the old pricing is kind of over. But for the Raspberry Pi itself, uh, one thing I recommend is the new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 Wireless. You're not going to find this anywhere if you go to the usual sources. Again, you got to adapt and overcome. There's a site called RPI, rpilocator.com, rpilocator.com, and this shows you, this actually scrapes all of the different uh, vendors to see if they have anything in stock. So instead of going, you know, from one, you know, Ada Fruit to Pi Hut to another, go out here and see what's in stock. So, I mean, it, and it's still sketchy, but as you can see, as of uh, today's the 24th, so as of the 24th, these places had stuff in stock. Um, in fact, we had Raspberry Pi Model 4B with two gigs at Ada Fruit. Uh, just uh, on the 24th. That was actually today. I missed that. <laughs> I would have bought that. So I reload the site and try and find a Raspberry Pi here. That's rpilocator.com. Um, you know, I got all the different countries there. They're pretty well outlined. Um, I, I've bought stuff from Adafruit before. Awesome company. Uh, Chicago Dist, which I'm not seeing here, is another good one. Uh, you know, I can vouch for them. So that's getting the Raspberry Pi. Now, if your radio isn't like an expensive ICOM 705, maybe you got a dual a dual band or something, you need an audio card. There's two audio cards I recommend. Um, the FE Pi is the probably the oldest one. I think I recommend this one the most. Um, this actually went out of production. The guy who made this stopped making them. Um, but Bud Churchwood um, actually said, hey, can you give me the Gerber files? I'll go ahead and make runs of these because this audio card is so cool for amateur radio. So Bud has the Gerber files. And again, this is is now a ham made card um, so if you're buying the the fe pie from bud you're getting ham made equipment and we need to support local ham so i know the ordering process can be difficult i know usually you guys are getting it and maybe you're not getting you know feedback um you know some bud was saying that maybe that the pop-up suppressor or ad control on your browser maybe disable that to get it to work but go out to wb7fhc.com, okay, wb7fhc.com, that's Bud's site. Uh, while you're there, check out his Nexus project. Um, you can buy a Nexus kit there. But the, the one thing you want is to go down to order Nexus now, and then down here you're going to see the FE Pi sound cards without kits. Uh, they're 28 bucks. Uh, Bud isn't making a huge profit on these, okay? Again, these are handmade. This is what it costs to get to have something printed. I mean, they have to come on the slow boat from China. This is where we're getting the FE Pies is from Bud Handmade uh, Equipment. That's where you want to order this here. Okay, that's the FE Pi audio card. Now, alternative, alternative to the FE Pi audio card, if you need an audio card, is the Audio Injector Zero. Um, this would be my second choice. Uh, you know, if you're using a radio that has a really low output, like a Baofeng or the Kenwood, um, this probably isn't a good idea because this kind of has a little bit of a cut on the input. Um, but if you're using a speaker output of the radio, the Audio Injector Zero is works just fine. You can get that on Amazon today. So don't tell me you can't get an audio card. And we've got a couple of choices, and they're both available. In fact, looking back at the FE Pi, Bud said he just had a big run done. You know, this costs some like a thousand dollars to do a, a large run of these cards. Um, so go ahead and support Bud, please, or get the Audio Injector Zero if, if that's not working out for you. And then uh, additionally, if you want a battery backup for your Raspberry Pi, I got this thing. It's totally cool. In fact, this thing's running on it right here. See this battery that kind of fits under your Raspberry Pi? Um, that's totally available on Amazon right now, or you can get the Pi Sugar. Um, only seven in stock. Order soon. I, I think it always says that. All right, that's the battery backup. And then if you want the little screen that goes with the Raspberry Pi, as you can see, this has this uh, nifty little screen that's showing the call signs go by. Oh, there's just one on there right now. Um, the screen isn't that much. Uh, in fact, you can get two of them for 28 bucks. They are available on Amazon right now. So 
don't tell me you can't get hardware. I know there's a chip shortage. It just means you need to adapt a little bit. We need to little, be a little more flexible in the parts we order and uh, and, and really look around. You really got to do some diligence. I think this RPI locator site is pretty cool. I've seen some things pop up. Um, don't expect to buy five or six of these. When they do come up, uh, most of these have limit one or two per, per order. So anyways, that's how we're getting hardware today. It's not like the old days where you can just get a Raspberry Pi Zero 2 for 15 bucks. I mean, you still can when they pop up. Up, but they're going to be a little more. Maybe you can order them in a kit. Sometimes I'll see them together in kits. Um, you can get Raspberry Pis that way. But it is possible to get the Pis if you are patient. This has been another KM6 LYW Radio Quickie, and uh, I'll see you on the airwaves.